In March of 2015, the Spanish government approves the gag law, despite criticism from the UN and objection from over 80% of the population. According to this new law, a person will not be able to protest in front of Congress, freely organize an assembly in public places, participate in protests without previous notice. In short, a person will lose their right to freedom of expression. Faced with this reality, we decided to protest in the only way the law allowed us to. to a different kind of demonstration in Spain. Thousands of people marched to protest a new law. But they say endangers civil liberty. But none of them were actually there. Not your typical political rally. A unique way to express their discontent. The world's first holographic protest. Activists in Madrid held a demonstration via hologram. Hologram tuntetu. Miracena Prad, Mika. Hologram tuntetu. Manifestation virtual a Madrid. Hologram projection policy. Spain is a suitsan myonge shiwi dega tingjang innende. La primera via a website that allowed anyone, anywhere, to take their image, convert themselves into an apparition. Subiendo sus imágenes, subiendo sus gritos, subiendo sus pancartas. Recreando a miles de personas reales. And it opens up some doors and capabilities that I never thought were possible. The underlying argument is that holograms have more rights than humans. I mean, that's kind of another part of the of the protest, which I have to say has is quite is quite a, impactful. You can't arrest the hologram, right? The protest reached a global audience of over 800 million people. 400 million impressions were reached, opening a worldwide debate on the right to freedom of expression. 330,000 people signed the online petition to repeal the law, and the hologram protest went from the doors of the Congress to the inside. La movilización, señor ministro, continuará, y la protesta continuará. 